Should do we should practice the harmonies on one show yeah try we and actually sing at the same time <laughs> and we'll... around uh, travis's vocals <laughs> you mean you <laughs> we'll just put you on mute and keep it for the whole show <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that wouldn't make any difference because you don't say anything anyway hey, uh, shots fired. Hey. i know it wasn't a shot I, I didn't mean that i love having fun <laughs> putting me Puddy, Puddy's the kind of person who drops bombs, you know, it's like you, everything's sort of like we're talking and there's a little moment of silence and then Puddy will just pop in there and drop a bomb and you're like, yo! Yeah, you yeah. think about that? <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's a good thing. Anyway, welcome wow. to Family Affair, the podcast mm-hmm. where we always laugh and have fun. Yep, certainly. Pudding, Travis D, Medea and Hello. your host and co-host and multi-host, Mr. Astalio. Welcome. So, um, let's see, you've got a cake business. No, no, who's got a cake business? Pudding. No, Pudding was pudding. telling me offline that we, she, she yeah. doesn't really have a cake business. She has some sort of business. And Travis, yeah. has a food business. Yeah. Since when? Uh, I'll since say it's my little project at the moment. See which uh, yeah. avenue I can go with. Yeah, uh, definitely. What sort of target, what sort of target audience to attract and go with it. You know, I'm, I'm actually still trying to get that recipe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why you don't give me the recipe so I can start eating huh? Germany. The recipe? Huh? The recipe? And then end up with five euros. Hey, I'll give you a cut on every cake I sell. Of course, in bulk. Well, you see, you're selling it for two grand. And I end nah, up getting like... Not that much, but maybe I could... You know, what, maybe <laughs> I could pass the recipe on to, I don't know, let's say a cake shop for an exceptional amount of money. And then... You can get a cut of that. And every time they sell my cake, I mean, your cake, I mean, what? our cake, our cake. About our, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. I'm just doing it for us. Hey, we're family, man. We're Listen, black. You are we're black. making a living. Hey, black empowerment. That means we have to help each other. It's not about the slavery days anymore. We got to move forward and help each other. Send the spider <laughs> to the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Me there, welcome. Uh, okay, now, so what, I was the... sorry, Alstalia, for cutting you. I was there talking and singing along to re- find out that I wasn't actually unmuted. <laughs> you took it the whole time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was only always quiet. Getting your uh, Mariah carry on. And then you yeah. work out. <laughs> okay, so um, what's the topics today? What 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 who's, who's come on? Gonna... You've got to give me the reasons why they, they, the uh, the vaccination is going to work or not work. Come on, no, really no, no. Talk... Uh, yeah, okay, we'll start with that. But I still want to talk about this Gorilla Glue, glue chick. We'll go that's, there. Oh that's the funny one. Okay, so what did I post? I just posted something. Uh, and it said, uh, the question is basically what people are asking. And obviously, these are credible questions because I've actually seen these given out. So if I get vaccinated, can I stop wearing a mask? Government's response, no. Can, I, can they reopen restaurants, pubs, bars, etc.? And everyone works normally. Government's response, no. Will I be resistant to COVID? government response maybe but we don't know exactly probably won't stop you getting it okay at least i won't be contagious to anyone anymore government response no you can still pass it on possibly nobody knows okay if we if we vaccinate all children will schools resume normally government response no if i'm vaccinated can i stop social distancing government's response, government's response no if i'm vaccinated can I stop disinfecting my hands? Government response, no. If I vex- vaccinate myself, my grandfather, can we hug each other? Government response, no. Will cinemas, theatres and stadiums be reopened thanks to the vaccines? Government response, no. Will the vaccinated be, will the vaccinated be able to gather? Government response. Is anyone going to say it? No. no. Okay. What is the real benefit of vaccination? The government response, the virus won't kill you. It won't kill me anyway. 
Okay. Are you sure it won't kill me? Government's response? No. <laughs> if statistically the vaccine won't kill me anyway, why would I get vaccinated? The government's response it- to protect others. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait. That so makes no get- logical sense. So, so if they get vaccinated, the others are 100 percent sure I'm not infecting them. Government response? No. So to summarize this, the, the COVID-19 vaccine does not give me immunity, does not eliminate the virus, does not prevent death, does not guarantee you won't get it, does not prevent you from getting it, uh, does not stop you from passing it on, does not eliminate the need for travel bans, does not eliminate the need for business closures, does not e- eliminate the need for lockdowns, and does not eliminate the need for masking. So what the hell is actually going on? Um... So, and what is it doing? See, we, is, you, you notice this, silence. This, <laughs> you know what? We've been had, you know. Something there. Yeah, and Sally, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy that you read that out because this is the point I was trying to make time ago about this vaccination. Mm. What is the reason why we would have to va- have the vaccination if we can't go to restaurants, see our loved ones, go on holiday, you know, not wear a mask? You know, not um, social distance and all that. Pretty what much is lost. Find it. Yeah, we've lost like six months of our lives. Really, not even six. More than six months of our lives to this vaccine. We've not. It's been, been, been a year. It's been a, yeah, oh yeah, it's been a year. Yeah, yeah. you're right. March. For some people, longer because it was found in 2019, wasn't it? At the very end, though, wasn't it? Mm, right. So, so. November. So basically, yeah, we've got a vaccine. And like I said, I think it's just a mass experiment to see how far they can push us. Also, I think there's a change of power going on. The power yeah. yeah. Hands. A few uh, times I've gone to talk and realised I was muted. Oh, is that, oh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys muting yourself? I know. I've just just cost um, a day as well. <laughs> yeah, you can hear me. <laughs> I was only why so quiet. I was like, okay, Travis, just quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. This is great. I mean, no, I, I, it's a great show, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much, Estelia. I was actually going to come in with a valid point because um, at my normal place of work on Wednesday, um, mm. one of my fellow colleagues came to us. Feeling, I think he was a bit overwhelmed because he says, oh, I'm a bit, bit emotional. So we turned to him as if to think, oh, all right then, who's died or what's happened? He's like, oh, I just got my um, appointment fee for my vaccination. So, me and my other colleague are sitting there thinking, yeah, and that got you emotional. What for? I ain't having it. And then, he's, then he gets up all um, sort of on his high horse and goes, oh, what do you mean? You're not having it? Well, I'm not having it. I says, I'm not going to be a guinea pig. Yeah. I'll see everybody drop first and then I'll go and see what happens after the fact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, but it's supposed to be there to help us because he's obviously cast as vulnerable. But I says, at the end of the day, Look at the people that are vaccinating, first and foremost. Everybody over 70, what do they bring to the, the, the country and the economy? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then all the vulnerable people who are, you know what I mean? The disabled all, people, yeah, like, last time. So are you really vaccinating people who don't bring anything to the economy? I don't want anybody out there who's listening to think I'm just money orientated but you know in the government's eyes we're not human beings we're statistics so i want to know you're vaccinating people who don't really do anything or you know what i mean no use society i'm not going to say no use because that's what everybody that's how it looks that's how they look at it though they're like just eaters in it oh yeah yeah allegedly allegedly so why would you vaccinate them first and not people who need to go to work every day you know what I mean? To get this thing under control and get us back to normal? It speaks about so, so it. It does. And I, I hear, is it right that in Germany, they vaccinated everybody under 55? No, no, they vaccinated everyone over the same, same age group, 65 and over. Oh. But, um, but they've just extended our um, lockdown as well now to the, um, I think it's the 7th or the mid-March. So oh really? Just, yeah, so we're for another month. So you guys are gonna be in the same as well. I don't get look no, we are the eighth of March. So extending till July. No, as is eighth of March. Yeah, I heard it in, in, in the well. UK. Because yeah. it says on the um, if you look on your if you've actually got the NHS app, it'll so- tell you what's going on. Yeah. 
So you know, or what you can't do and what you can do. So we're back inside, lads. We're back inside. <laughs> you know, and, it, and it's, I guess it, I don't know what you guys feel like, but it's driving me mad. I'm actually getting it's, to the point where I'm like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, and I'm laid back, we, man. I'm, yeah. You know what it is? It's I described it the other day as, as if you're in prison without doing the crime, but, and you're still allowed day release to go to work only. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're. You're all, on remand. Yeah, you oh, yeah, you're on, remand. Yeah, you're on the tag. The um, tag us. Yeah, yeah. Um, you on the tag. I'm just uh, trying not to end up on uh, one of Medea's crime shows. Women who snap. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're going to kill somebody. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, got it. Women, <laughs> women who snap, like, he's like. Yeah. Women who snapped. Oh, my God. <laughs> or kill a willing. Kill, yeah. kill a willing. I, I think they're trying to drive us all to insanity. No must do. And, and, and it's going to work. It's going to work. I already see, like, everyone's already like, no, we're not doing enough lockdown. Like, in Germany, pretty much the... the, the um, <laughs> What do you call it? I don't want to say stimmung, but stimmung is the right word. The yeah. rebellion? Not the rebellion, but the, the you know the whole the whole people have an opinion on something. Yeah. What's it called when the whole people have the opinion on something? Anyway, basically, the opinion at the moment is we're not carrying on like this. We want to open up. Well, how are we supposed to survive? All these small shops. I think they said from the first of March, I believe people can go back to school, and maybe the barber shops can open. And I don't know why it's always the barber shops. It's always seems to be the barber shops. <laughs> all of all of clove shops and all these other shops, restaurants and stuff have got to stay closed. But the barber shop, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! So obviously, because somebody at the top thinks to himself, you know what? I need my hair done. Is that Tony and Guy? Is that Tony yeah. and Guy dude? And he holds all the barber shops. He's like, look, man, let me get get the barber shops open, please. Get me. Yeah. <laughs> definitely a change of power going on. That's what I believe it is. And um, yeah, whatever. I, I don't care. Look, we're not against the vaccine. We're not for the vaccine. We just think it's better. You guys inform yourself. And, may, you know, may I? May I just interrupt for a moment, in, yeah, please? And um, I'd like whoever's got background noise to mute it, please. That's what we're often told in classes, classes online. So please mute yourself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Medea. Thank you. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's traffic. Look, the next thing I want to talk about. Or oh, oh, does anyone else want to add anything? No, go straight to the next one. I want to talk about this, this idiot gal. <laughs> The thing 40 is, year old, 40 year old, please. Is she 40? Yeah, she's 40 years old. She's 40 year old, and she's put that's why they don't sympathize with her anymore. And she's put gorilla glue in her hair. Yep, then again, so I don't know who, who, who put it in. I think Trashley pulled it up, said actually, she's probably just sh- uh, looking clout because isn't the if she put glue which is fast sticking in your hair, wouldn't your hand stick to your head? Yeah. True, wow. yeah. Let me just tell you the story on this. I'm reading that they posted on Instagram a Twitter feed of this woman actually did this a month ago and she oh. was actually given the help for it, but she refused it. And that's why everyone's like, oh, clout chasing. Because okay. there's a certain terminology they use there. They say if you decline it, we won't force you. But mm-hmm. because she declined it, she's then manipulated it and be like oh i'm gonna sue the company because i didn't say you can't put it in hair and blah, funny, blah, blah. Funny is, that's so funny yeah. <laughs> so, um, i mean let's before, be honest before, oh, there was an update today which i did inform you guys saying that um she's on her way to la to hopefully get the uh, gorilla glue removed from her scalp but wait there I mean, yeah, she did say it was in her hair for a month. She said it's been in her hair for a m- month and nothing's happened since then. It's been, her hair's shiny, shiny like a <laughs> soldier's boot. After she's been shined. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, how, how, and then you got to go and have a cheek to tell Gorilla Glue Company that I'm going to sue you for putting that in my hair. Oh, like, hang like, on. Add the bonus. She's now got a manager. Yeah, and she got a blue tick on Insta now, ain't she? Yeah, yeah, she got a public figure. Listen, not even Black Apocalypse, the legendary podcast company is not even officially authenticated. And this kid, this girl who put glue in her, the act of stupidity. I don't get. Look, I know. Okay, look. Let's be, let's be fair. Someone got harmed in this. <laughs> in the making of this. In the making of this. Yeah, the glue girl. She got harmed in the making of. No, whatever. the glue got harmed, not the her. The glue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay, so we said that we hope she gets well soon. Of course, that's the message from Black. She's Hobbit. not ill. She's rinsing it. Of course, and she's gonna get 
She's going to be minted after it too. She's going to be like, yeah, all she's going to do is bowl of her head. Yeah. I'm not going to lie though. I was angry when I first found out about it because I thought this is another opportunity to humili- humiliate um, the black nation, especially the females, thinking yeah. that's what we do for beauty, where in fact I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you know, it's true. I don't really put yes. gel in my hair, and if I do, it's very, very rare. You know, I don't really yeah. put heat in my hair, and if I do, that's very, very rare. But mm-hmm. you know, because I remember the days of when certain weave hairstyles and braided hairstyles you put in your head cuff, it was the case of oh, you've got no hair, where in fact it wasn't. It was a protective hairstyle. So now yeah. that gorilla glue situation's come out, they said, oh, this is what you do for edges. You put glue in your hair. You know what? Yeah. You know these protective uh, hairstyles. Sorry. Yeah, at, the, at the end of the day, this should also be a wake up call. Don't you think it's time women got well black women in particular, but I'm sure other races do some stupid things too. Should, they should be educating on how to really look after their hair yeah, using I agree. little chemicals as possible. Yeah. Because the chemicals are there to damage your hair. Forget Gorilla, whatever it was at the moment, but all the other gels and stuff, a lot of them are there to damage your scalp and your hair in mm. the long run. <laughs> so don't you think it should be a wake-up call that they start, you know, learning how to really look after their hair? I mean, it's up to them whether they put a wig or a weave on. That is their choice. But they've got to start looking after their hair as well as because well, some of them to... look after the wigs and the weaves more than they do their own hair. Mm-hmm. Well, listen That's to this stat. Listen to this statistic. Black women spend half a trillion dollars on hair and weave. Half a yeah. trillion dollars. You know what that could do for the black nation? You know what that could do? Half exactly. a trillion. Instead of putting this half a trillion, doesn't even go to most black people. It goes in the pockets of the Asian people who sell it, the Chinese people, and everybody else who's donating their hair. All the other races who are not black donating their hair. Because when do you know that black people donate their own hair? They don't. Because no one wants you to carry black hair. No size. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> They do, they actually do, but we can't, we don't sell it because how many people say, Yeah, yeah, but I've heard it on numerous occasions. Oh, I'd love to have hair like yours, or oh, your hair can go into some yeah, every other race, just, just boring. That's what I mean. But we don't actually sell our hair, nobody can have our hair, only we can. So we're quite lucky, really, where you can have. As a black person, you can have a European hairdo, nice flowy wig, so you look Asian or white even. Wait, wait, wait no. do you support? Wait, but as a thingy, I, I don't support wearing wigs and stuff like this. I had a discussion no, with Dan. No, I'm saying that. No, but I'm just saying, look at the advantages we have to every other race who either has to wear their own hair or a wig that still looks like their own hair. No, wait. Well, I mean, yeah. Look, let's be let's be fair. Oh, I get there's... your point. A good cane. You want... know what I mean? Not a good cane row in her hair. Like other you, yeah, you can't buy a good cane row. Can have on. Dreads. Yeah. A lot of the people have to really go in to get dressed. Yeah. You know, we can yeah. have an afro. A lot of people can't get an afro. Yeah. You know what I want? Our hair's very so versatile. Yeah. And that's what people do. You see, there's a good there's a good comment on it here on this one post. I want to read it. How ironic, we black Americans spend a fortune to look good while all the time complaining about economic equality. What's worse, our neglected bodies are being decimated by COVID-19, and the temptation is to blame the usual suspect, racism and by extensions, and by extension, the health care system, <laughs> etc. True, they share some of the blame, but we, yet we have $1.1 billion to spend on hair, eyelashes, cosmetics. Unfortunately, one can spend a dollar only once, which leaves no funds left over for to take care of our overall health, um, diet, exercise, regular medical checkups, and then we wonder why the specters of childhood obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer stalks our neighbourhood. See, this is this is very important because what I realise with with um, black women, especially, they spend millions on their hair, but they never spend anything on their gym memberships. What is that about? They complain to spend five pound a month. Yeah. <laughs> do you know anyone who's like that? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like you do. I was just, <laughs> I'm just trying. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, I, th- I think obesity is a huge problem in the black community. Uh, not is. just the women, but the men too, but, but mainly the women, obviously. 
Um, but but they can go out, they'll be looking fly with their hair. The hair's the thing that they spend the money on is the thing that doesn't belong to them. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. Their hair. Uh, you could keep yourself natural, you know, have a nice natural afro looking good. And then put that money that you spend a thousand, I think it's a thousand dollars each a black woman, for example, will put in their hair a year or something. Oh my thousand, god, that's loads. Yeah, a thousand. Just to, just to look good, just to look good. No, to get that bag, they need to get that bag. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think I think half a trillion is too much money, and I think they could definitely put that money into other stuff and forget. I don't know what the standard is. What what is what is? Can you guys tell me what are they, what are we chasing? What are we chasing? I don't know. They're, but... they're chasing nonsense. I mean, we look good anyway. Long nonsense. They're chasing we're nonsense. Look at the glue girl. Guess what? Guess what? Looking eighty. <laughs> yeah, it's nonsense because at the end of the day, when they've got old and when they've no longer got the shape, what happens then? The what are they chasing then? <laughs> what are they chasing then? <laughs> Turn into Muslims, wear the robe, the long robe. Yeah. That's you, you don't trust, you don't trust somebody who's over. What I'll tell you what most of them will say. Oh, I'm doing it for me. It's, That's what they say. It's, you're doing it for me. I like that. No. They're not always doing it for them. They want the attention. It's as simple as that. And the proof is in the pudding because, sorry, no, no pun yeah. intended. Pudding. Put, put, the proof, in pudding, is, yeah. in, the proof <laughs> is in the pudding because look on Insta and that will tell you. Mm. They're not doing it for them. They want the likes. They want the attention. Mm. Very, very, very few do it for themselves. Yeah, that's true. Very, very few. And and I'm a woman and I'll admit it. When I used to look good and have that bag, it's because <laughs> I liked the attention. I liked when people says, oh, you're attractive. Oh, you're this. You're, oh, you're that. I, I, it takes a woman with guts to admit the truth. And the mm. very few will admit the truth. They like the attention. Of course. They're not doing it for themselves. And I don't care who is offended because it's true. Most of you are doing it because you want a man to whistle at you or a female to whistle at you mm. you want to be noticed you want to feel like you're important and mm. that is that is the truth definitely because yeah. I, I I had my head on the other day and I yeah. was sad about nearly everybody yeah I love you I love you eh? and I work with 150 people exactly so, you know what I mean and it makes and you feel nice doesn't it when it you does. get attention exactly yeah, definitely. so why do you mean lie and say they're doing it for themselves I'll never know Mm, Get out of you doing it for yourself. Take all the mirrors down if you're doing it just for yourself. <laughs> you know, the next law I want to unravel is that one that Pudding just said to a minute ago about protecting your hair. Mm. <laughs> like, I, I just want to give you, you know, just an idea. When you wear a hat on your head, does that protect your hair? Depending on the material in the hat. If it's satin, it does. <laughs> it locks up <my> moisture. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, the, the indoctrination, the brainwashing is deep. Yo, listen, <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, let me just finish. Send us you, black on, this is let me ask a question then. Look, this is, sorry, this is the question you should be asking. Not does it protect your hair? What are you protecting your hair from? Exactly. That's the question. Breakage. Breakage. Breakage from what? From what? The cold. From wind. Lock, locking that moisture. <laughs> Remember, what moisture? We had this conversation before about porosities. Okay, let me explain something. When you put hair, a hat on your head or a wig on your head, the sweat, the sweat seeps into your head, and the big bacteria starts developing and growing, and the humidity makes your hair get the, makes the scalp of your head. Yeah, it makes it stink. Makes the scalp of your head look all like musty, and and then starts getting moldy, and then you start losing your hair. Your, your Hold hair on, wait, wait, wait. Back. That's that's actually a lie. We for a long time like that anyway, Sally. Who have you been laying down with? Yo, look, listen. I've got an afro. I got a bushy hair. And I don't wear no hat, and my hair is always fresh, always fresh, and my hair is going nice. Though, it? I don't put no. I put a bit of coconut oil in there. Exactly. That's helping it. Yeah, but I don't put no hat on it. I don't put a wig on it after for it to protect it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. When you they say in some studies that you shouldn't wash your hair too regular because you're washing out the healthiness of 
your bacteria yeah. in your hair, actually. Yeah, but your head needs your, so head your needs, natural oils, your natural oils. Yeah, but your head needs produce. air too. Your head needs yeah, air, air. air. But you shouldn't overwash your hair because you're washing out the natural oils. Which oh, I yeah. But we're not yeah. talking about washing hair. We're talking about what are you protecting your hair from? Wearing yeah. wigs and weave. What are you protecting from? That's what I want no, to know. No, I, I, I don't think it's protection. I think it's laziness and the convenience it is, of just getting so- up and just putting on that extra hat and you've got a fresh long hairdo straight away you know what I mean you don't have to go to the hairdressers every day to get it done and it's definitely la- laziness and convenience because I for many years I've had um, braids and I do it for convenience because I gotta get up early I haven't got time to be doing my hair every day I just don't want to yeah, you can I'll, cornrow I'll, your I'll, hair though that lasts for what five six days cornrow five six I don't know what kind of cornrow you're having but mine lasts for like, say about six to two months. Your corn will last for two months. Yeah, because oh. I wear a do bag every Yo. time. My last for like I won't five go days. to bed without. I won't go to bed without a do bag. Yeah, my barber's white. <laughs> there you go. Then <laughs> That's the get a black That's barber. Right. You get me. Your you, your hair will last a little longer. <laughs> but yeah, at the moment, I don't know if five six days that wouldn't be enough for me. I'd probably have. You know when you just have two single plaits down the side? Mm. Two French plaits down in two parted? That would probably last me probably five days. I wouldn't go beyond that. But if I've got smaller individual braids, then yeah, it lasts last me a lot longer. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. So anyway, just to round, round this topic up, up so basically, um, women, you don't need to wear a weave to protect your hair. And and especially if you've got no, no, you know, plan to show your hair at some point anyway, and you're just going to keep it protected or covered. I think that's the right word. You're covering your hair because you don't want anyone to see it and not protecting it <laughs> from whatever you meant breakage. Yeah. No, but there's uh, the outside elements as well. As well. Yeah, but your okay. hair is, your, your hair, especially black people's hair, man, you know how versatile and robust black people's hair is? That's why it's curled up in these coil shapes to protect you against the heat, protect you against the cold, protect you against the sun, protect you against the rain. No, it does not protect you against the heat because we're not, well, probably from getting to your face, but when you've got that hat on, that afro out, you can't get that heat out of your head. You feel like you're going to explode. Yeah, but the thing is, look, you know direct heat on your head is going to give you a um, heat stroke. But your afro mm. is there. That's because remember, you was born in the hot. You were supposed to be born in the hot climate. Mm. When you've mm. got your hair on your head, that's protecting you from getting direct sunlight on your scalp, which is going to reduce the yeah. chance of you getting heat stroke. Simple. Like yeah. If you grow your afro properly, you'll have a natural shade too to go over your eyes. So you're good. All right. Yeah. There you learn something. Oh, today. Yeah. Family yeah, fair. It's a family affair. Yeah. Anyway, uh, do, we have, do we have another topic? Yes, we do. Okay. We would like to know, should women have a lot of male friends? Oh. What do you Ooh, think? That's a good topic. Uh, you know, this is yeah, good. I think they should. I have. I prefer male yeah, friends. I used to. Yeah, I prefer male friends. I don't well. prefer. I just I have. do. I, I do. prefer. And I no, have. I, I, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some shade here. To Medea, that is because <laughs> you liked attention. <laughs> it wasn't because it was back. their brethren. It's coming back. It's because you yeah. like the attentions. I like just like you said, you liked the attention when you was young, and that's why you had male <laughs> friends. You didn't have a because you wanted to be their friends because you're not no friends with no males anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Mic I'll drop, I'm out of here. I'm being I'm being bullied on it. <laughs> Me personally, I've just always, I hate when people say that. I prefer to have man friends. At the end of the day, man and woman are just as dangerous as each other. That's very true. You as an individual should be able to get on with the gender. If you're a woman, you should be able to get on with women more than men because you share a common ground. But women are too catty because they're No, the, women that's what you think. Yes, competition for what? Man. For men, well, it for, yeah. Yeah. Competition yeah. For men. I said this the other day. If you take the men or the man out of the equation, women get on fantastically. Yeah. When it's not about man. But when you're all fighting and cutting for the same man, that's when the bitchiness and 
the sarcasm and the nastiness comes out when you're yeah. trying to get the man that you think the other girl could possibly have. Or I think cause people sometimes who can't get on with the same sex is because you're either jealous of them. Because why, why can't you get on with... You know what I mean? Come on. No one if you said, can get on no with your said. sister and you, no you feed my husband. It's not about preference, isn't it? Preference. We're not on about whether you can or you can't get on with. But I don't think you should say, oh, I'm not going to be friends with you. I, like, think no one said, I prefer. You. I think think with me. I'm not missing the points. I just said, I hate what I've heard it too many times. And then you think to yourself, wow, that's a stupid thing to say. You so know, you're not friends not, with your mum or your sisters or your cousins. Or your maybe, maybe. Some women prefer male friends because they're very tomboyish and they seem to relate better with yeah, male exactly. friends. Yeah, that's mm, exactly. I agree with that's that. Angle, I believe, to be honest. I agree with that, definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I, f- I found that um, female friends are very jealous. I don't know why they need to be because I was never jealous of a female friend. I never had a reason to be. But I find that they are. They are quite jealous. You know, it doesn't even have to be about another man they could be jealous because they feel like you're exceeding more than them or mm-hmm. you've got a better taste in a home than them there's many reasons why female tend to be jealous that's not saying that men aren't jealous of each other too mm-hmm. it, but i can't speak on the men's behalf i just feel like i connected better with men friends than i did female do you think that the females who are jealous people are just that's just their nature. It they're could just, well as, be. As they say, they're just red eye from time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because not everybody out there is going to be looking down at you or thinking, oh, I'm, I want to get better than that. Or, you know what I mean? She's not good. That's not true. everybody goes through life. There's people like you yourself out there. Yeah. Not oh, that's, I'm, I'm just surrounded with people like that. That's, um, there you go. That's not family unit. I, I, I'm surrounded with well, There you go. That, there you go. That's good enough for me. Okay, you know what I mean, and you'll probably find a few more people like that. But yeah. Not everybody, you know what I mean. I don't think people should just think, "Oh, I'm gonna only be friends with one certain sex just because a couple, one person." Again. Wait there. Preference. People have choices. They have preferences. No, I know that, and I know freedom of speech and choice. But mm. just because one person has been, say, a bitchy to you yeah, or. You know what I mean? In competition to get that man, that you think, oh, I'm not going to be friends with any girls because, um, oh, I prefer to be friends with because all women are like that. Because oh, not all men, not all men, not all men are good pudding. friends. And uh, let's see if Pony and Pudding's on, opinion. I doubt it's on. that. Um, I was going to say from my personal point of view, I've always connected better with males, and the relationships with males were the, were a lot stronger. So mm-hmm. with listeners, um, they were attentive, and obviously they weren't that catty side of it. And I found men are a lot more forgiving than women when it comes to the friendship side of things. Yeah. You know, a lot of women would always hold on to stuff and then run with it and try and make your life a misery. And that wasn't from just a one-time thing. It was continual. Yeah. So oh, for me, I've always had this experience from as young, as young as I can remember, like four years of age. I know it sounds mad, but, you know, Betty down the road fighting over the last apple where the, the the little boy would break it in half of, with me. It was always that sort of thing that I've noticed but, from young. But could, do you not agree, though, ladies, that once you get yeah. to a certain age group, you no longer can have those male friends? Yeah, I agree with that. It's, it's that's so, so that's why it's out. stupid putting yourself in that kind of area and then you're just going to be on your tod and have no friends in the end because, you know, when those... Up until a certain age, you can be friends with men. You know what I mean? It's fine. But as soon as they start getting their partners or their wives and this and yeah. that, you're not getting them friends no more. Them man's ain't no, not listening to you no more. They're only listening to what their woman's got to say. So I, they're not, they're not better I'm friends saying. because they're quick to get rid of you and just go out with the woman who they've only probably known a couple of months and they could have known you years and they're not thinking, oh, it's because I get on with women better. No, do, it's because most likely... Because, sorry, sorry, my um, dear um, travesty, 
Women are exactly the same. As soon as they get in with a partner, you no longer exist either. Because mm. women are very, very, they're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They are very well, minded. Much, they are very much for their partners when they're in a relationship too. And then the, you'll find that when you start hearing from your female friends again, it's because they're not getting on with the partner. So they just want to use you as a sounding tool or agony on. Oh, my man's not doing this. Oh, my man's not doing that. So it works on both ways. I still prefer, I prefer my own company personally, but if I have a preference, it would be male friends. But I do, I'm quite happy in my own company. At, at a certain age, you do become, you become happy in your own company. But what you about, know, so, can I just quickly No, I in? think, oh, sorry, I was going to say. Change the direction a little bit. So what about, yeah, sure. what about the idea that men are only with the women to try and obviously bed them or... You know. I think that too, more time. Because that, there's that's, not that's many men. Pretty judging, though. I mean, no, it's pretty judging. It's unfair. Judging. It is unfair. It, but is, it is unfair, but it's usually true. I would say it's 95% true most of the time. But in the gender, you know, you know I mean? men, men. I remember yeah. one girl, uh, she had a lot of male friends, and my friend ended up dating her. And as soon as she ended up with my friend, all the male friends dropped off. Um, yeah. But she wasn't really one of those girls who would have been like... And I want to smoke. <laughs> yeah, but she wasn't one of those girls who would have been like, I oh, you don't have to see me anymore. But the guys knew they wouldn't have a chance anymore, so they were kind of like, Yeah, yeah. you know, I ain't gonna hang around with you anymore. Cause... Yeah, it's true, and that's what I've always thought. You know yeah. what I mean? You, it's not like we've all woken up yesterday. You know, men only really hang around with women they want to either sleep with or go out with. But what about gay men? Why would they no, hang no. with the woman? That's why gay men are preferred. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> no, but that's why. Because you know a gay man, you know that you're not going to probably lose his friendship because he's not looking you. Yeah. Exactly. You know I mean? So he can be, be good friends with also men. He's, also, he's a window into the how a man thinks, isn't it, the guy? Yeah, that yeah, too. Like, <laughs> he comes with all the benefits and none of the downside. Yeah. Well, I don't believe it because I, it, it does, I'm not, no. It's wrong of me to group all men together and say, yeah, the are after all the women. But I would say 90, 90, up to 95% of the time, it is because of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because when you, they always say that oh, most of the time, you, you, you might, when you start relationships, is with your work colleagues or this and that. And remember, you're working with these people, building relationships, and you're not just friends, are you? Because mm-hmm. you've seen some of these people you work with more than you see your family members. True. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I think I've gone on a tangent. Apologies <laughs> to the list. Apologies to the listeners. <laughs> no problem. But yeah, I'm sure they love I, I always, I always think there's an ulterior motive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, because all right, then here's one. Here's a last question for you, Madaya. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been friends with a man that has never tried to put words to you? Yes. Is that because you've already stopped him in the tracks and said you're never going to be my type, so don't even try? No, or... because the, 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 uh, there's always exceptions to the rules. You'll mm-hmm. always find a few men that genuinely will just be your friend. Mm. I'm telling is that you because that, Is that because they had a woman? or It could be, or it could be that you just... You, or they just you respect you enough like... that you just... Eh? Yeah. You, you and them just relate in that way. You just... It's like a soulmate without being in a relationship. Okay, then. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think it's definitely possible. It's it definitely is, possible. it's definitely possible. Yeah, it's possible. But most it's of them possible. are. Most of them will end up because underneath they want to be with you. Or yeah, of course. Some, I think some, that, yeah. Are, some are ex-boyfriends that you're just better off as friends. Oh, yeah, and yeah, not you got those. That anymore. So there's yeah, that one too. Mm. You know, so yeah. But at the end of the day, I still prefer a male friend. You can have a laugh and a joke with a male friend, and you can be yourself. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah, no, I think, well. would you? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'd feel comfortable just being all a ragamuffin in front of a male, where I would feel like, okay, in front of a female, just to be mm. more myself than yeah. to be act myself around a male. Because when. So does, no, is there a stereotype no. that comes with women who have a lot of male friends, though? There used to be. I think in the younger generation, yeah. In my, in my generation, they, they would say you're up to all sorts when you just preferred male friends. They were very uh, 
prejudice. I'd yeah, say. my narrow-minded. Yeah, narrow-minded and yeah, and judgmental. Mm. You know, you know, but those days have long gone now. Yeah, because oh, you you can be friends with whoever you want. That's it. That's it. Leave and let leave. Definitely. Okay, good. Then uh, we've reached the apex of the show or the end. Mm. Uh, we'll go around the table, mm. of course, as usual. We'll start with Medea today. Medea, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. I've just got my assignment to do, so I'm not available to all those who are desperate for my help and attention. You won't be getting it. I'm going to be locked up. <laughs> so just stay safe. Stay blessed and tune into podcast next week. Oh, if you want any uh, advice on that, if, I think what did you say it was something about why is the internet important? Just go and do a search. Someone's ripped that off and just rewrite their. Yes, yeah, so I would like you can speak to me about that. Yeah, <laughs> I would like you to speak to me. That if anyone wants to leave you. any tips why the internet's <laughs> important for Medea to give her a hand, send them on to um, the Black Oblivious email address <laughs> blackoblivious at hotmail.com. <laughs> uh, pudding. <laughs> but in, um, but... everyone just have a nice night's rest I know lockdown's making everyone very tired um, I haven't got much to say at the moment I'm getting lost for words I'm not getting that life experience because of all this so I'm really not working there yeah. <laughs> all right and Travis, Travis, Travis I can't speak I've got a speech impediment in the last couple of weeks I think oh, it's because I'm trying to get like that. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah, so stressed. It's, it's not even that. I just yeah, it's maybe that, but it's also I'm still trying to learn. Well, I'm learning Italian. It's getting kind of good, and oh, I don't know if it's the mixing between Italian, German, and English. Speaking these three languages could well be. Yeah, be. too much. Too and much. Also, finding that sometimes the Portuguese sneaks back in, so I'm pronouncing the words wrong, and I'm like, oh no, that's Portuguese. So that could be the problem. Anyway, sorry to block you off, um, Travis. Steve, what do you want? You got? <laughs> um, well, everybody trying. Stay warm because it's really cold at present oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. in the UK. Um, stay strong because hopefully we'll get through this next month of lockdown and get back to normal. Yes. That's what you um, <laughs> to my new to my Nubian sisters. Please stop using Gorilla Glue. <laughs> and to all the females that prefer <laughs> male company to female company, keep going that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> right on that note I will say good night don't forget to like comment subscribe and you know share the love and we'll see you next week yeah. okay bye. 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 bye 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 come on if you go